Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office. And today is Sunday. Hooray! We gather together to worship, to glorify God, to receive him in the Blessed Sacrament, right? Gather together as the faithful. And so I hope that if you're not out of town for this Labor Day weekend, that you'll be in church and worshiping with us. That's the best way to spend a holiday and to spend every Sunday, as a matter of fact. Uh, as we do generally on Sundays, we're gonna take a look at the colic that's assigned because this Sunday today is the 12th Sunday after Trinity. And the colic is this, Almighty and everlasting God, who art always more ready to hear than we to pray and art want to give more than either we desire or deserve, pour down upon us the abundance of thy mercy forgiving us those things whereof our conscience is afraid and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to ask, but through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. Amen. Okay, so as we talked about in the past, a collect is the collected prayers of the church, right? It looks like the word collect, it is a collect. And so the church over the centuries has collected these prayers up to help to express the aspects of the faith and to help us to be able to pray according to right doctrine. Uh, and so there's also the colics in morning and evening prayer, during the colic during the communion, right? The Almighty God unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hid. That's the colic for purity, the beginning of Mass. Uh, and then there are colics assigned for every Sunday and feast day of the church. That helps to help us to focus in on a theme for that particular Sunday. And so today's colic, and the colic during Trinity Tide, help us to, to learn how to live this Christian life. Um, this is a nice reminder that we have faith in God, that he will provide for us and will provide in abundance. And that is it through the life of prayer. Uh, so remember prayer, we address God in this collect. We talk about an attribute of God, something about his nature, who he is, and then we have our petition. So almighty and everlasting God, right? So we know he's almighty and that he's been forever and always will be. Um, and what else about him? Well, we, we know from experience, from the scriptures and from the life of the church that he's always more ready to hear than we are to pray, right? We can't pray too much. God is still listening and still waiting and we should pray more and pray more. Right? He's more worthy to hear than we to pray and are, want to give more than either we deserve or desire, right? We, whatever we can ask, God is willing to give more if it's according to his purpose and his will and it's more than we deserve, that's for sure. So then here's our petition. Pour down upon us the abundance of thy mercy, right? Without God's forgiveness, we're nothing, right? Because of our sinfulness. Thy mercy, how? Well, by forgiving us those things whereof our conscience is afraid. We're afraid to say it out loud. We're afraid to admit it and fed us up to the fact that we've done and we're doing sinful things. And, and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to ask, right? The, the, the result of that prayer. But through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. And this is important for us to remember because all this grace, all this mercy, all this forgiveness, all this love, all this life we don't deserve, but is given to us through the merits of Jesus. It's because he loves us and it's because he died for us that we merit eternal life. It is by his cross and passion and his resurrection that we have the gift of eternal life. So we ask these things in the name of Jesus, we get what we don't deserve, better than we desire, right? forgiveness and mercy, because Jesus wills it for us, and we throw ourselves at the foot of his mercy seat. So today's Sunday, and God willing, I do hope to see you in church. God bless you.